All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our last deck in our Game of Thrones themed stream tonight. This is the season eight debut of Game of Thrones later on tonight in about an hour and a half. So we've been playing some Game of Thrones themed deck. We had the we had Abzan Treasure for the Iron Bank. We had Orzhov Aristocrats for House Lannister. We had Grixis Dragons for Khaleesi and her dragons. And now we have Mono Black Zombies, which is representing the White Walkers. And that's what we have here. Uh, we've played this deck a few times, and it's a pretty fun deck to play. We've struggled against red aggro decks. That's what we don't want to face. We're usually pretty good against Esper Control. That's what we do want to face. Um, so let's see what we what we do. This time we... we the one change we have this time is what we made at the end of the stream the last time we played the deck is we have all four cast downs in our sideboard so we have lots of ways to kill um runaway steamkins and goblin chain whirlers and those messy red creatures that give us trouble or gruel spell breakers um and there we go yeah we don't want to face lyra absolutely uh we just have like necrotic wounds there. Yep, do not want to face Lyra either. We want our opponents to be a slower control decks and then our horde of zombies can take them out. You're staying up to watch Game of Thrones live? Awesome. Yeah, I'll be watching it after this league. So we'll see if... Oh, I didn't replace our, I need to... All right, y'all remind me after this match, replace the Avatar with Liliana. Ooh, still got a good hand, though. Thank you, Sarkin. Got a good hand. Oh, we're on the draw. No, aggro deck. It's bad. We're usually not as good against aggro decks, like I was saying. But it is a three-color aggro deck. All right, Creeping Chill. That card's good. Yeah, Hawkeye Creeping Chill's good. Let's see if we can get some more Creeping Chills. Okay, got an extra Gutter Bones over there. And we've milled over four lands. That's pretty good. We don't really want to draw lands from here. All right, so we'll just clear the board. Block, block, they get three triggers. They can use two for the Diagraph Ghouls. More Creeping Chills. Hmm. We're attacking. So they can trade with either one if they want. If they want to take it and go down to 10. That's fine with me. If they take it. Well, either way, either way, they're taking a dam point of damage. So we're going to have the gutter bones turned on either way. My plan was I, I was going to be able to pick up the Gutter Bones and just play both Gutter Bones. But then drawing Midnight Reaper, we're going with that instead. Man, those are two ones. It's annoying. What 
doing? What are you doing? Um... Like, do I want to trade Gutter Bones for a Hunted Witness? And then draw a card? That doesn't seem great. for you drill bit <clears throat> a little late for you not sure exactly what I want to do here what are you doing what are you doing? You're going crazy. I did think that their card was, you know, not a land. I mean, I think we're just dead. Our opponent plays this right with Priest and Pontiff. I don't think we can. All right, have a good night, King Toll. Yeah, I don't think we can beat Priest and Pontiff. I guess we would just make these blocks, though. No, Hawkeye, stop. What are you doing? You just hit the space bar? I was... Hawkeye, okay, I wanted to block. It certainly makes sense to block the token, at the very least. Just kind of waiting to die. Yeah, we're drawing all these creeping chills after we milled over so many cards earlier. So, what am I going to be doing here, sideboarding wise? Definitely Necrotic Wound, definitely all these cast downs, definitely the Ritual of Suds. Less drill bit. Let's get the Mausoleum Secrets in here also. And. A lot of removal spells. Do I need all these cast downs? I just need to kill that uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods. 
need to be able to kill that. And secrets can is basically another ritual of soot. It can go look for ritual of soot. I don't know. Creeping chill. Creeping chill's good. Definitely not cutting Liliana ever. Liliana never comes out against anything. It's like gutter bones and suppliers are 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 not so good cards. If I just don't play those, put these back in. Let's do that. No, yeah, so Liliana is just our, our best card in this deck. It doesn't come out against anybody at all for any reason. It's it's the most powerful card in the deck. It's the way, it's our best way of winning games is with Liliana. <sighs> so we got our four lands. Hopefully we draw Liliana. Speaking of cards to draw. I like the Graveyard Marshals, though. They can make enough bodies for us to be able to block and everything. Ugh. There goes a ritual set. So I'd like any of our three drops. Either Midnight Reaper would be good. Ooh, Liliana, that's good. Or of course I was gonna say our the Lord also. I'm just not doing a whole lot over here. Death Touch Afterlife. Alright, you can trade with something. I could, like, if that was, like, something else, I could have gone Liliana minus and killed it. Um, but they still have, like, the token there, and then my Liliana's at one loyalty. Or no, it would have been a two loyalty. But still. I think I'll wait. I think I'm just gonna take up and... I've conquered death, as I will conquer you. And we cut our one drops and we're still that aggressive. Liliana is that scary. Just saw it and was like, alright, well this game's over. And Liliana turbo... Turbo charges our graveyard, helps us find the creeping chills to deal more damage, fills the graveyard for the graveyard marshals, does everything. Two wins away from diamond tier. You got this, DJM. You can do it. in this thing. Well, you have to attack with the token, right? Yeah, that thing has to attack. So they have good mana. They got, you know, all their different colors. I definitely wish I could cast down the Judith. Why are they not attacking with, like, Fireblade Artist, like, at all? Does this deal to... Uh, it does deal to Planeswalker? Alright, well, that's annoying. I call, and the dead answer. Feeling scared. I'm just killing that thing, though. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. My, my. 
So they can, of course, attack my Liliana and kill Liliana if they want. Hope they don't. So do I trade with Warboss? No. Waste of my time. <clears throat> okay, hoping to draw another Liliana. Think we can stabilize this battlefield. Okay, that that thing's gonna be a little harder to stabilize. That's a really good combination. Make creatures with Vanguard and just sacrifice them. The Fireblade Artist. It's a good combination. Attack. Go, creeping chills, go. Because even if the, the diagraphs ghouls die we you know get to draw a card and then we can also sacrifice or we can also just make them other zombies again so they're really not a bad card to have die at all all right so they get their one one but we get to draw a new card Sack in the 1-1 one, one for 2 damage? No. This is a good game. It's a good close game here. We could lose four life. Okay, we're just losing two life. And still draw these cards. One hour until Game of Thrones starts. Good. Gregor Marshall has been a house.
Attack! Midnight Reaper doing some good work for us. Drawing new cards. Definitely looking for Liliana. Or more Creeping Chills. I think we got 22 lands in the deck, I believe. Yeah, that's the plan. Burn our opponent out. Mono black burn. I probably should have just played the graveyard mark, this other graveyard marshal the other turn. That's what I kind of wanted to do, but I went too far with the creeping chill. Google's not telling you correctly then. Because, yeah, it starts the same globally, but that's in one hour, not three hours. They keep sacrificing the lifelink thing so they don't gain life. And that should be it. They go to five. They got two Midnight Reaper triggers. And good old Creeping Chill finishing the job. I want to play this Liliana first for the voice line. I do what needs to be done. Aw. Didn't get to actually kill our opponent with Creeping Chill. I wasn't going to activate Liliana. I just wanted to play it for the voice line. No, it's 9 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so it's telling you wrong. Man. It's, it's 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central. Hey, what's up, Deathsta? Thanks for that resub there. Currently on the six month streak. Down to 139. Desta bringing the hype boats to the channel. Love it. All right, so the White Walkers were victorious in episode one. And now it's time for episode two. Oh, we still had, still have Sarkin in here. Yeah, it didn't change the avatar. Y'all didn't remind me. Remember now that we see this. Back from basketball. How was basketball? Did you have a good time? Oh, I miss playing basketball. I like job. I like basketball. Mm. Take the creeping chill. That creeping chill is gonna kill you. You should probably take it. Gutter bones? Yeah, gutter bones could kill you too. Yeah, this is definitely a playable deck. If you want to have some fun with some zombies, absolutely. Whew. Best draw on our deck right there. Mike says that a major player is going to die in the first 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes of this first episode. Yeah, get that cry the Carnarium the heck out of here. What are you doing over there? Are you wanting me to play my Midnight Reaper and then you're going to cry them all away? Get out of here with that. Get out of here. Alright, obviously we can't play anything because it just gets absorbed, so we just pass. Just wait for these gutter bones to kill my opponent. Ugh. Chemistry's Insight's kind of nice there. They get to actually play stuff there and not just waste their mana. <laughs> Zoe, that's just a that's that, that's just a random prediction. That's not a spoiler. 
the episode hasn't come out. He's just he's just predicting that somebody's gonna die in the first ten minutes. Yeah, it's not released yet. <laughs> no spoiler there. No land? Pass? Ooh, the no land pass. That means we get Liliana out here. I know, we get Liliana, Hawkeye. Isn't that exciting? Better not have a gate. Took up. The etchings prove my immortality. Into the grave with you. All right, that's three life. Or two life. Sorry. Creeping chills three. This one deals two. Wow. They didn't even kill a gutter bones. They just took the damage. Last turn. I guess because I could have picked up the gutter bones and played it again. Mm, glad to so be. they can go Your up to six. That that should still be lethal as long as Liliana hits any zombie or creeping chill. Yeah, just hit a zombie or a creeping chill. I value moral flexibility. <laughs> uh, we did not hit a zombie or a creeping chill. Um. Hmm. Gutter plus chill is five. Chill, chill does three. Gutter is two, they're at six. Yeah, I think we have to do this. If I went with just Creeping Chill this turn and put them down to one, then they could use Kaya to exile Gutter Bones, play Teferi, tuck Liliana, and then I wouldn't be able to finish them off. But doing this way means that, you know, even if they have they, Kaya exiles Gutter Bones, you can rest in peace. Even if they have another removal spell for Death Baron else. and they have something for Liliana, like that means they probably have to tap out to be able to deal with both of these. Kind of thing where Chill will I can no finish him off. Stand by and watch. Or they go, yes, now they go to Fairy Tuck Lily and we kill him with this. Yeah, so they are. Okay, Hurry. so they. They just gotta hope we just brick with Liliana again. That's their only hope, is that we brick with Liliana again. Don't get squeamish on me. That's not a brick. That's two. Here's another two. And there we go. Alright, get all these dresses in here. That drill bit we had was clutch. The drill bit on the uh, Cry the Carnarium. Super, super clutch. So we take out Creeping Chills, take out Supplier. Basically, the, the Mausoleum Secrets is an extra copy of Liliana here for us. I'm not super sold on Bloodfast, honestly. Yeah, set review going to be normal schedule.
yeah, this is the matchup for Bloodfast, but I'm, I'm just still just not sure. I'm just not sold on it in the in the deck in general, but this is definitely the matchup for it. Uh, I just haven't found anything else I love that I won in the 75 instead. Uh, Fred. We're going with Fred. Thank you so much for the resub, Fred. You are awesome. Okay, too many. We don't need a fifth land. We don't need any more lands. Good, get rid of lands. Ah, we only got one land. Man, I would like to draw a Reaper and drill bit. So yeah, we want to find, like, this would be a good time for Bloodfast. Drill bit's just a better duress. Like, why would you, why would you possibly take duress? Drill bit's just better. Perfect time for Bloodfast. They better not have Mortify. Alright, I'm just going to draw two cards at end step. We can't really beat Teferi, though, if they just like play Teferi. Don't have enough pressure for against the fairy right now. I only found Mortify. It's gonna turn on the Thought Erasure for one of these cards. Alright, we wanna draw Liliana. That's our best card. We haven't seen one yet. We got a 1 in 11 chance. Alright, that'll do. Well, let's cast this thing first. We have Negate. We can probably play around in Negate. Easily enough. <laughs> you have 50 minutes to go. No. This would have been a great time for a Liliana while they're tapped out. Ugh, Liliana would have ended this. No Liliana's in our top 18 cards. And this is why we have Mausoleum Secrets to help us find another one. But Mausoleum Secrets would only be able to search for CMC 2 or less. So, like, we would be able to go get an Argyle's Bloodfast with it. Or something like that. Alright, time to go wide. Not ideal. Also not ideal. I am not going to sit this one out. Keep up the pace. Yeah, this card's not fair. It's a that's cheating. Can't just have this against the White Walkers. We're one point short right now. If the opponent has nothing, we could attack and we could deal 10. Well, let's see. Well, I guess... No, I guess we couldn't. No, we, we're not one point short. They would deal. 
Okay, well. Alright, come on, Liliana. Come on, Liliana. Or Contempt. Oh, no, they're gonna have the negate available. Dang it. Dang it. Ugh. Why is this negate here? We're going to have to gain him life and just get rid of this Teferi. I suppose just what we have to do. Was meant to happen. It's going to be tough to win. Well, I guess we have to have contempt for the Lyra. We have to start over from here with them having active Ascanta and Teferi. We're going to have to get lucky. And I could start by drawing more Lilianas. You know, you know you want to give me another Liliana deck, you can do it. You'll thank me later. Let's skip to the good part. Liliana. Liliana. Alright. Alright, going to game three. I haven't tried the singleton format, honestly. I have not. All right, White Walkers. You can do it. Hands Dees. Okay, but nothing to do on turn two, unfortunately. Hopefully we'll draw a discard spell. A duress, drill bit. Either of those. Okay, I'll take that one. Yeah, our, our opener there... Yeah, our opener there was a four land hand, but our very first draw was a five. Was our fifth land. But yeah, we had just Stitcher Supplier and then two discard spells. And it feels like that last game, if, if our Stitcher Supplier was like a gutter bones, that last game, we could have maybe got there with that extra pressure. So I don't think I want to just play Midnight Reaper here because of Cry of the Carnarium. So I think I want to try to duress and try to take a Cry of the Carnarium. All right, well, we'll take Kaya. M Y R Mirror Sir. There we go. Mirror Sir TV with the resub. 
you are amazing. Thank you so much, Mirsir. Attack. They are being really patient with this moment of craving. And Mad Mike also. Wow, y'all are awesome. Keep these hype boats going. All right, gonna go ahead and drill bit this turn. Try to take the ferry. I'm gonna lead with the Midnight Reaper if there's like an absorb here. Okay, I wanted the Midnight Reaper to get countered more than the drill bit taking the Teferi, if there was a counter spell. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. I could tutor for duress. Here's just says, love the stream, mate. Keep doing what you what you do. It's always a blast to watch. Always watching any games I miss off stream on the YouTubes. Thanks, Mercer. Thanks for those kind words. Yeah, glad glad you're loving the stream. Also, if y'all missed it earlier, I've, talked, I've mentioned this a couple of times, but uh, I have added some more channels to the Discord. And hmm. And so if, if you're not there, feel free to, to join the Discord community, talk magic, talk about War of the Spark, talk what decks you're playing, get some help with whatever decks and all that kind of stuff. So it's free to join. You think I should just go for lethal here? I think I'm gonna just go blood fast. And then I'm going to secrets. Like, playing Liliana is going for lethal, but Liliana is just so important. I think I want to secrets for duress. And then see if we draw land next turn, we get to duress plus Liliana. Okay. If they did have an Absorb there, we still have a lot of power on the battlefield, and that means they're not drawing more cards with Chemister's Insight, so I don't really mind that. Yeah, I think you should pick Shocklands and Draft. Build that collection up. I would do it. If you don't have the Shocklands in your collection, I would take them. Cancel. Ah, too late to get Liliana in here. All right, the White Walkers are 2-0. Oh, we have our best card in our hand, followed by two really bad cards, and that one's really not that good either. We just we don't have a good curve, but we have our best card in our deck in our hand. It's hard to mulligan. Like, three land, having three lands Liliana is really hard to mulligan. The rest, our other three cards would have to be basically these exact three cards <laughs> to mulligan. It's hard to mulligan, but I think it is a mulligan, unfortunately. All right, we still have the lands and Liliana, so let's just let's draw lands now. But we still have the Liliana. I guess we, we don't have the lands anymore. But we still have the Liliana. All right, draw land. Come on, deck, draw land. I really want to cast Drill Bit next turn. Very good. Let's take this Wilderness Reclamation. Alright, no Reclamation. Taking their counter spell. Because I really want to resolve Liliana next turn. I think my best way of winning this and, you know, having damage fast enough is resolving Liliana next turn. 
Oh, don't just draw reclamation. Come on. So we've done really good at drawing Swamp Swamp back to back. Now can Liliana finish this out from 18? It's going to be pretty tough. But this is their best chance, I think. Uh, well, they aren't useful to me alive. Ugh, no, not the Contempt. Ugh. Like the only card I don't want to mill over. And yeah, no, no zombie, no creeping chill. This doesn't look good for us now. Well, that's game. Oh, dull. Yeah, I mean, that's just game. So I don't think I want. I think I'm gonna sideboard similar to against Esper, but I'm not. I'm not bringing in Bloodfast. because I think Bloodfast is too slow. Secrets is maybe kind of too slow also. I think I just want to cut the Stitcher suppliers. and keep this. I think I want the creeping chills. I think like the this. The speed the creeping chills can add to Liliana is important. <laughs> yeah, I should have hit him with a chill first. Okay, th there we go. Get some one drops in here. We need some one drops. This hand's awesome. Uh, you know, definitely want to draw a third land, of course, but this hand's awesome. It's, we got our, our first two tur our first two turns. There we go. Are perfect. <sighs> we'll see if how good th turn three is. Awesome. Alright, taking the growth spiral to slow them down. This hand was good. One more land. No fiery cannonade over there, please. Love it. I guess I didn't need to play into the Sinister Sabotage, I suppose. Yeah, that's that's probably just that's probably just a greedy play there, casting that Liliana right then. Dang it. Did they just fight in Fiery Cannonade and now Now my Liliana's gone? I could have just waited on Liliana. Come on. All right, I threw this away. My deck did everything it could. It gave me like the perfect hand, and I just threw this away. There's no reason for me to cast that Liliana when I did. Should have just waited. All right, let's draw some creeping chills. Ugh. Just overconfident. I didn't think we're gonna lose. It 
it is possible that it is possible our opponent had both of those the previous turn anyway. Where where if I would have not played Liliana, they would have just end stepped fiery cannonade and then untap and still had the counter spell. So it's not like guaranteed that it would have worked kind of thing that like, you know, just saving the Liliana would have worked. It's not guaranteed. You know, we didn't know a couple of cards in their hand, so it's it's possible they had that cannonade, but how they put the how they kept the card on top really quickly, figured that was the cannonade. That's really disappointing. Our hand was basically perfect at first. Gutter Bones, Drill Bit Gutter Bones, then Death Bear, and then Liliana. It's just after that it's been... Obviously, there's been nothing here. After that, they gave us five lands in a row. But... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Scry was the candy, too. Yeah, Stronghold's basically for Liliana ult. Yep. Yeah, you can... You know, if you have Liliana out, you mill over a bunch of things. You can do that. Cast a bunch of creatures with Stronghold. Go Liliana, go. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. We did not even hit a zombie or a creeping chill, so I don't get to pick up these gutter bones. That was that was the plan. The stronghold helped us out though. It got you know basically got to trade with the got rid of the syncopate and then the lightning strike. Like that was a really good stronghold for us. I guess was I supposed to just minus three Liliana the first time and just replay things? No, I think I was supposed to tick up. One All right, come on, creeping chill. Is another woman's army. So they're down to one. <clears throat> no, yeah, I was supposed to tick up. Yeah, the stronghold, this is our this is our wall. This is our fortress for our white walkers. Alright, can we finish them off? Are they playing Nexuses? Or do they just have explosion? I mean explosion kills me, right? Wow, starve extinction. Uh, the others can deal with you. Wow. All right, we haven't seen a creeping chill yet. I'll take a creeping chill. Oh, that kills me next turn. So this is this is it. I have to draw Creeping Chill or Liliana, or I'm dead. 
Come on, chill. Chill is way cooler than Liliana for like just the end game. Ah, all right, we'll take this. Take it. No counter spell. They can draw like two cards to find Sinister Sabotage. Wow, they don't even try. Let's have some fun. Come on, zombie. Zombie and chill. Zombies and chill. Come on, zombies and chill. I'm done here. <laughs> There's a zombie. I have a deliciously morbid. All right, going to game three. Going to game three. After like our perfect opener there. Oh yeah, if it was chill, they could just copy it. Yeah, so you're right. So it had to have been Liliana, because if I just cast chill, they just copy it and gain the three life, don't they? So yeah, our only draws were one of our two Lilianas, were the only cards that were in out for us there. And we drew one of those two Lilianas. You just can't stop the White Walkers. You think you got them down. Just keep coming back. Diagraph Ghoul. Love it. I think I go Graveyard Marshal here over just casting the drill bit. I hope no cannonade. Hope we get to hit them and then cast drill bit and marshal next turn. Okay, so this is Sinister Sabotage. That was the problem with waiting as they get that card. Death Baron doesn't hit as hard as Marshall right away, but I'm going to play the, the Death Baron first. If we have one more land, we can play Marshall and get a, you know, five mana. We can play it and get a, a creature token. Yeah, so Grixis Dragons, we had uh, both of both of our losses. They were both game threes where I kept two landers that did nothing, but if we just draw the third land, like, they do stuff. Like, they both had, like, three mana cards that were important, and we didn't draw a third land in either one. So that's how both the game threes went. So this should be another insight here.
definitely hoping no no cannonade. It's just Niv. We can contempt Niv. Niv's not that bad. It's cannonade I can't beat. Please no cannonade. Two Kiora in Ki two Kiora for dragons. I guess I'm not exact. Don't know exactly what Kiora is going to be doing. All right, so they have the expansion to copy. They have expansion to copy contempt. That's kind of bad. I'd like them just to play like a lava coil here. Oh yeah, love it. Love it. They would have just kept expansion available. Oh wait, but then one damage pings the gutter bones. Urgh. Urgh, it's not lethal. So we basically need Liliana again. Liliana's kind of like our only, only card that can do anything right now. Liliana, Liliana. Gosh, we were so close. Why does that one damage that Niv deals with that contempt to kill the gutter bones? We were that close. Or like the two life that Krasis gained. Ugh. We were that close. Alright, well I doubt I'm... Yeah, I'm definitely not beating that. Couldn't get quite enough damage in earlier before the turn three fiery cannonade. That turn three fiery cannonade on the play. Couldn't quite get enough in. So close. Okay. Well, two and one. That was a blow to the White Walkers. They're going to come back stronger than ever. I hope this is another reclamation we can get our revenge. Looks like it is. Oh no, we're going to be manually tapping this whole time. about fiery cannonade we gotta stay away from fiery cannonade
Because Cabal Stronghold is a colorless land. And when we're playing, we have like a lot of black mana requirements and we can't really afford the colorless land. Cabal Stronghold is good once you already have five swamps, but you can't just play four Cabal Strongholds because then you'll just have your Cabal Strongholds for you know, much too, you know, for too much of the game. Like you can't, you can't really have them early because you know you need two swamps to play your graveyard marshal. There's a lot of times, like even turn three, where we'll play a couple one drops and a discard spell or something like that. Uh, you definitely need lots of swamps. I don't want to play my Liliana into a counter spell. But I want to I want to go to combat first to see if they like tap low enough where I could resolve Liliana kind of thing. So that's why I didn't just like play Death Baron first. But now we get to resolve Liliana. And start finding creeping chills. Find these chills. Don't get squeamish on me. There's a chill. No zombies, so we didn't get the lava axe. But we got three. Tapping out. One person's trash is another woman's army. All right, we got the. We got the zombies, so that dealt two. They are down to two. What do they got? Bleh. Now they have lot now they have enough mana for another explosion on Liliana to kill Liliana. So they could they could definitely win this. They needed the extra mana that Wilderness Reclamation provides. Yep, Reclamation ruins the game. I agree. Oh, it's the exact opposite. Nexus is not that good, and it's, it wouldn't wouldn't really be good enough for these decks if they didn't have Wilderness Reclamation. Like if they if this was like all their mana, then that's that's it. You know, like they like it's not good enough. These card the this deck's not good enough whatsoever without Reclamation, basically. That's not Nexus's fault. Like Nexus would take their entire turn, kind of thing. Like it's the fact that they get to cast all these other things with Nexus. That's the huge problem. The amount of mana you have in a turn is a very fundamental core aspect of magic, and Wilderness Reclamation breaks that. You got four Mortifies at all times. There you go. I honestly don't think Nexus being an instant is really that big a deal. Like, the whole problem is Wilderness Reclamation. For Reclamation, it was a little bit of a deck, but it, was, it really wasn't that big a deal. 
this card is, is the entire problem. This card's perfectly fine without, like, that deck's perfectly fine without Nexus. Looks like they just found explosions so that we're dead. Because this allows you to have so much mana in a turn that you can kill people. You can explosion for 25. We had we had six turns. And you can explosion people for 25. They should have said 30. <laughs> Alright, Duress, come on in. Yeah, if they picked 30, it would have been a draw. Yeah. Because they had 28 cards in library, and, and you can't draw more cards than what you have, so they would have lost. But we would have also lost, because we would have taken more damage. So we would have both lost, so it would have been a draw. You've screwed up Explosion before and, and lost by drawing too many cards? Yeah. It's possible. You know, they could have just said 30. Yep, and they could target us also. Okay, so we've got good hand here. Um, one more land would be really nice. Where we can have Graveyard Marshal plus a drill bit on turn three. Or I could go Supplier Drill Bit this turn. Take an Ascanta, maybe. Let's do that. Attack. So they have a couple of root snares. We would like fourth land in Liliana. We'll also take discard spells. Either one of those. A Death Baron wouldn't be a bad draw either. Having two Death Barons out means we wouldn't be vulnerable to a fiery cannonade. We'll just play this in case of Fiery Cannonade. Draw cards. So they need to find green mana. Or Cannonade.
I don't think we really need to play another Graveyard Marshal. Alright, so they have those turns covered, but do they have... What do they got now? Not flipped as Kanta yet. Down to four. Okay. So they're gonna have to get lucky here with this chemis chemistry's insight. Hopefully they brick. Please brick. Tap both those green sources. I hope they, I hope they drew a growth spiral that would have taken their green, and then the growth spiral found another root, root snare, but they didn't have another green anymore. <laughs> it's okay, DJM. I haven't, I don't, I haven't watched any of the Star Wars movies so it's, we all have like our, our things that we probably haven't experienced in popular culture the fog was lifted and the white walkers came crashing through Attack. Let's take this fiery cannonade. All right, no fiery cannonade. Do I take a growth spiral or insight? I'm gonna take an insight. <clears throat> Insight's just two cards, you know, and so I'm sure they get the extra land drop with spiral, but taking the card that lets them draw two. With the resub. Thank you so much, Dev. Dev said, it's still nice to see you playing a great deck variety. Thanks again for the content you provide. You're welcome, Dev, and thank you very much for the continued subscription. I really do appreciate that. All right, let's make it a two turn clock. And let's draw Liliana. That is the plan, draw Liliana. Also, other plan is opponent not draw cannonade. We need no cannonades over there. We need Liliana's over here. No cannonade. Liliana. No cannonade. Liliana. No cannonade. Dang. So say if that hit, if that hit, then a, a creeping chill would have been lethal. All right, later, Zoe. All right, that's fine. That's that's still not cannonade, so that's that's okay. I can deal with fog and a shiv and fire. That's okay. It's not cannonade. No explosion either, because that's millions of cards. Uh, looks like they found explosion. Ah, oh, thanks, DJM. Eleven. 
That's fair. <sighs> We're going to lose both of our matches against Reclamation. It sure looks like it. We need to draw Liliana here. We have to draw Liliana. Come on, deck. Liliana. It's not Liliana. Yeah, that was not fair. Just turn six, just draw on 11 cards. This is just not a fair magic card. Just no reason to ever print that Wilderness Reclamation card. All four chemistry's insights. We're down to 32 cards. The other one's over here. The other three are over here. So, I mean, that's another... I mean, so that's 32 cards. That's another two, four, six. So that's at least 26 cards. Plus, like, their next draw. Down to 25 cards. How can... Is it... Is it even possible for them to not have nexuses? I guess. We have the sad song playing right now. With this happening. Five cards, we don't have like four Nexus. You can just find an explosion, I'm dead. Looks like this is just an explosion. Yeah, Reclamation had to come in, ruin our fun. But honestly, I've had good success against this deck with zombies in the past because we have like our eight discard spells. And, you know, our, our aggressive starts and our eight discard spells. We've had good success in the past, but we've just lost both of these matches. Both like both these matches had just games that were really close where the opponent really opponents have peeled really well. Um, and that's just kind of what happened here. I don't think we... Yeah, like, the only way our curve outs were really going to be better there is if having, like, another discard spell or having another Liliana, or just having a Liliana kind of thing. But when we've when we've been casting our discard spell, we've been looking good, but the opponents have been just drawing, drawing their cards. You know, they've been finding their Reclamation off the top, and uh, then, like, the Cannonades and Explosions and things like that to get them a whole lot of cards afterwards. Yeah. Uh, I think over like I think over the long haul I think this deck beats reclamation you know like 60 40 probably but you know you're still going to lose 40% of your matches and those were a couple of those that we lost can't win them all you're right can't win them all All right so that is uh mono black zombies our fourth uh game of thrones deck of the night here so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I will see you for the next one.